Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to discuss about the subsets of a line. So what are the subsets of a line? One of the subsets of a line is a line segment and a ray. Now, let's proceed to a line segment. So what is a line segment? A line segment is a subset of a line consisting of two endpoints and all the points in between. So for example, we have this line. So we can name this line as line AB or line BA. So when we say line segment, it is consisting of two endpoints. So when we say endpoint, it is from one point to another point. So, the line segment in this line is line segment AB. So, line segment can be named using its two endpoints. So, you can name it as line segment AB or line segment BA. Next is a ray. Ray is a subset of a line with only one endpoint and extend infinitely in only one direction. So again, for example, we have this line AB. The ray that can be formed here is ray AB and ray BA. Ray can be named using its two endpoints. So we can name it as ray a, B, or Ray, B, A. So this one is Ray, A, B, and this one is Ray, B, A. So always remember, if you are going to name a ray, you will start with the end point and to be followed by the point that extend infinitely. Now let's have this example. Name the different line segment, ray, and opposite ray in the given figure. So for example, we have this line and the line has point A, point B, point C, and point D. So, if we get the line segment in this given, since there's a lot of line segments in here, to make sure that we got a correct number of line segment, we are going to use this formula, n times n minus 1 over 2, where n is the number of points in the given line. So, before we name all the line segments that can be formed in this figure, first we are going to solve using this formula. So, n times n minus 1 is over 2. So, remember, n is the number of points in the given line. So, there are 4 points in there. So, we are going to substitute that 2 n in the given formula. So, it will become 4 times 4 minus 1 over 2. Then, simplify the operation inside the parentheses. So, it will become 4 quantity or open close parentheses 3 over 2. And 4 times 3 is equal to 12 over 2. So, the final answer is 6. So, therefore, in this figure, you can form 6 line segment. So now let's name all the line segments that can be formed in this given. So first line segment is line segment AB. Next is line segment AC. Next is line segment AD. Next is line segment BC. Next is line segment BD. And the last one is the line segment CD. Okay, so remember, if you are going to name the line segment, it is from one point to another point. So therefore, these are the answers or the line segments that can be formed in this figure. Next is we are going to get the rays or name the rays that can be formed in this given. So again, to make sure that we got a correct number of rays, so we are going to use this formula, which is the 2 times n minus 1, where n is the number of points in the given line. So again, we are going to use first this formula before we name the rays in this given. So 2 times n minus 1, again, 
count the number of points that can be found in the line. So, there are four points. So, you are going to substitute that to the given formula. So, it will become 2 times 4 minus 1. Then, simplify. It will become 2 times 3. And the final answer is 6. Okay? So, therefore, this uh, figure has 6 rays. Now, let's name all the rays that can be formed in this uh, figure. So, first is ray AB. Next is ray BC. Next is ray CD. And ray DC. Next is ray CB and ray BA. So, that are the rays that can be formed in this figure. Next is, we are going to name the opposite rays in the given figure. Again, when we say opposite rays, these are the rays with a common endpoint but extending in opposite directions. So again, ulitin ka ha, when we say opposite rays, it is a rays with a common. Ibig sabihin, iisa lang yung kanilang endpoint pero nag extend siya sa opposite directions. So one of the example of opposite rays is, Ray BA and Ray BC. So again, when we say opposite rays, uh, ray siya na meron silang common endpoint. So dito, ano ang common nila? B. So as you can see, yung common endpoint nila ay yung B. Tapos yung A ay papunta sa left side. Yung C ay papunta sa right side. So that is uh, an example of opposite rays. They have a common endpoint. Next is Ray CB and Ray CD. So, that is the another example of opposite rays. So, again, their common endpoints is C and as you can see, B and D are extending in opposite direction. Now, it's your turn. Name the different line segment, rays, and opposite rays found on the figure. And answer the following question. Name all the line segment. How many line segments were formed? Name all the rays. How many rays are formed? Name the opposite rays. Now, if you are my student, please answer it in your notebook. If not, try to answer it and write it in the comment section. Next lesson. Different kinds of angles. Thank you for watching. Happy learning everyone.